Um, now, I have a couple of songs that, you know, I would love to get the background on or just anything you remember from the studio session or just anything you remember about working with the artist. Um, you know, some of the songs that you've produced. Um, the first one that I have for you is Brandy's Say You Will. Oh, Brandy? Uh, Brandy was a great artist. Uh, she's a great artist. Um, it's the first, it's one of the first artists that I met actually her she used her voice as an instrument and to watch her gracefully do vocals was was a it was a privilege to see her do vocals like that. Um, and she made every note, she made every harmony, she made every movement in the song so you will she made it count. And just to see someone take a song and treat it so gracefully. Not only put her stuff in it, but be passionate as well. So it's a song that still today still makes me smile. It's such a happy song, a beautiful song. So, and that's who she is. You know, she's, she's a good hearted, happy, beautiful person. You have a chance to, to face herself in that song. Okay, okay. Now, that's actually one of my favorites by Brandy, so I'm wondering, you know, did you get a chance to work with Brandy again after that song? Yeah, um, I actually did. Uh, we um, started working together during the time I was working with Babyface. Uh, we were also in touring as well. And um, he came by the studio and we just hit it off. You know, this was during the time that she was, you know, fusing her world as far as rap and singing. But, you know, to her, it was just taking advantage of the gift that God gave her, using her voice in many different ways. You know, taking her instrument and playing it different ways. So, to watch her transition and experiment with the new sounds of her voice, you know, she was incredible. And she brought out amazing things to me, and, and I did the same for her. So she she's a special person. Okay. She's uh, a person that I definitely, I can't wait to see her win again. Yep. Yeah. Um, the next song that I have for you is Music Soul Child's Millionaire. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about that one. Um, Millionaire. Uh, Millionaire was the actual track that was done in my bedroom. Uh, and also, you know, if you don't mind going back, the Neil Stone Stank was also done in my bedroom. Okay. It was one of those times where I heard the song in my heart and I got up and I had my keyboard and computer and everything right next to my bedroom. Right next to my bed and I got up and I just played it out. And um, the music so child heard it. He loved it, and Harold Lilly, who was the writer on it, him and music to so try to it off our personalities, and we all came together as a team, and we crafted this beautiful song. Okay, okay. And the uh, last one that I have for you is Ashanti's In These Streets. Ashanti? Yep. I call her, I call her the ultimate hard worker. She is such a hustler in a great way as far as music. Uh, when that song came together, we were just vibing and craving it. One of those perfect accidents where you just pull around the keyboard and she's singing melodies. And I start playing one thing, she starts singing one thing, and then we just created it up. You know, we just kept going and we found a perfect accident. Okay, okay. Now, you know, kept going. Oh, I was going to say, you know, who are you currently working with now? I know you did some work on JoJo's latest mixtape, so who else are you working with? Um, right now, uh, one person I'm really excited about, uh, uh, Kucha Keys and Alicia Keys. Okay. Things that's 
happened in the studio, we love when we got a chance. I don't know the world is going to be blessed if I would be able to hit it. And um, so my thing is I'm able to work with beautiful people who have an awesome hearts. And, you know, I know musicians and artists will understand me when I say this. Sometimes they get beautiful melodies. You got to be positioned right in your heart. And sometimes you get those gifts. And that's one thing I learned from Michael. You know, you got to be in a place of selfless. Like, you have, a, you have to have a forgiving heart, and you got to know it's not about you. That, you know, you got a superpower, and that superpower is to help heal the world. And if you're a musician or artist or have the talent of that, you know, you got to position yourself being given. Because there's a lot of people that need us right now. They need great songs. They need to smile. They need to dance. You know, they need real lyrics and real melody. They need good songs. And Alicia Keys is going to bring that to you. And um, there's some other great artists that I'm looking for as well, but 